Welcome to the Infernal Brotherhood's Willow series. Today we're going to answer the question, who is Kale? We'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel for more Willow content and like and share the video. This information is taken from the Willow source book. Whether Kale was intentionally trying to emulate the folk hero Gilasson, or whether he was simply inspired by the folklore is of little importance. The fact is that his own trajectory in life was very similar. However, as with any inspirational or cautionary tale, one's own experience and choices will inevitably differentiate the ultimate outcome. Kale was unknown before the age of 13, and even then he was but a lackey for soldiers in the Nakamar army. He was a stolid, quiet, shuffling boy who was mocked and bossed around by the soldiers. He was an attentive observer, however, and often viewed battles from the sidelines. He would practice as often as he could with sword and bow, but again, the soldiers were fond of mocking and distracting him. Kale never complained about the menial tasks like fetching drinks, cleaning wineskins and bottles, or helping the cook. It was all filthy work, but Kale had a vision for his life, one that he would earn. As he grew, so too did his size and shape become the focus of mockery, some even joking there must be some ape in his bloodline. At age 16, Kale challenged a combat instructor to a wrestling match and won! Stunned and impressed, the instructor took him on as a regular student. No one made fun of him anymore. Though Kale never swore any oath, signed any papers, or even formally joined the Nakmar army, he nevertheless was absolutely devoted to the cause. He had tunnel vision and wanted to be in command. By 20, he was absorbed into the army, and Bavmorda began to notice his fanaticism and strength. She may have been punishing an ambitious commander, but nevertheless, she made Kale a junior officer. As lieutenant, Kale would shock his superiors with the speed he rose in ranks through stunning displays of ability, courage, and treachery. Kale soon found himself second in command under a nobleman named Harkenwell. Kale knew how to get his way through flattery and treachery, so, applying both, he set his sights on Harkenwell. The Nakma army had subjugated a small village, but the farmers were holed up in the smithy. Not wanting to destroy the shop as the army had a use for it, they were at a stalemate. Harkenwell called for Bavmorda, requesting her to use her magic to extricate the peasants, and Kale took the initiative. He took two barrels of tar pitch, buried flasks of oil inside them, and as Bavmorda's entourage approached, he commanded his minions to sneak up to the forge, climb to the roof, and dump the tar barrels down the chimney. As Queen Bavmorda arrived, she witnessed the peasants fleeing the forge as the barrels released toxic gas and smoke. Kale had offered for his commander to take credit for the assault, and as he was asked by the queen if it was his idea, and claimed that yes, indeed it was, the barrels exploded, crumbling the chimney and destroying the forge. Bavmorda was so upset, she reassigned Harkenwell to a lonely outpost in the northern wastes, leaving Kale the supreme commander of the Nakmar army. Kale soon adopted the skull mask in homage to his folktale hero, Galassan, and was a force to be reckoned with, both in command of the Nakmar forces and even in single combat. He went undefeated, destroying Galadorn and even hunting down Eric Thobear and Elora Danon, delivering Elora to Queen Bavmorda and murdering Eric in single combat. What Kale did not plan for was the downfall of his folk hero and himself. Mad Mardigan, after a pitched sword fight, proved the greater swordsman and killed Kale in revenge for his friend Eric and changed the course of the battle for the remnants of the Galadorn army. But that is all the time I have to talk about Kale. Thank you for spending time with us. We'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel and feel free to click the like button and share this video. Until the Infernal Brotherhood convenes again, my fellow scruffy-looking nerve herders, may the Force be with you.